And we're living in a world where people are forgetting to tell people that I know there's trauma and hurt, but there's hope. Yeah. Jesus brings healing. Yes. Jesus, br and that is, you know, when, G when Revelation says, you'll be saved by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Yeah. I, I feel like I can look at anyone in any office, in any country. We might not speak the same language, but we've got very similar scars. And I could go, oh, Oh, I, I, let me talk to you about the healer of those scars. He brings healing and wholeness and redemption. And then you see people flourish in life and you go, Jesus is the only answer. Yes. If somebody doesn't know your story, the abandonment and all that, give us a touch of that so we know you're the right person for the right job. So basically start there so that everyone realizes you're the mama lion and right. you have a bunch of lionesses cubs okay yeah. that you're training but this is an army yes. that people can be a part of why were you chosen by god well i think you know um i think looking at my whole story and, and we'll say that but let me just preface it by saying certainly god uses every part of your painful past and he can there redeem it and god can give if you if you future. let him if you allow god and choose not to remain a victim mm -hmm. god will take all the brokenness so you know just in a nutshell here um i am and i didn't find out until i was 33 but i was left in a hospital unnamed and unwanted my birth certificate literally does not have a name on it it says child's name unnamed number 2508 of 1966. Let's just pause there. If I was born in Romania or Greece or Albania in 1966, I was born in Australia. So I was blessed because there was a rule of law and you couldn't just take a child out of a hospital. There was a, a you know, a, you had to there go through a, a process. process at least. But if I was in Albania, Romania, Moldova, are you kidding me? I could have been in any orphanage the very kids we rescue today some you could just walk in oh that's my niece i'll take that baby and sell that child do whatever i want to do with that child i could have been um there's one degree of separation instantly 1966 there's that you know i, I grew up in a environment where i was sexually abused for many years and so i understand the pain and the shame um, and the anger and the bitterness and all of the things that are wrapped up um, with that so you know 90 percent of our victims male or female know in some way shape or form um what that feels like so i get it and you just think i i've got to tell you matt every time we put a trafficker in jail every time we rescue somebody um i feel like joseph do you remember in genesis chapter 50 verse 20 when his brothers uh, here he is now second in charge of egypt his brothers come back realize it's joseph they're freaking out thinking he's gonna kill them <laughs> And he turns around to them, he goes, oh, you meant this for it. You sold me into slavery. You threw me into a pit. I had to go to a prison. You meant it for evil. But God, he meant it for this very purpose, yeah. to save many people alive. I feel like that every time we open a new office, every time we rescue someone, I think, oh, devil, you meant it for evil. When I was still in my mother's womb, you tried to get rid of me. Yes. When that didn't work, you left me in a hospital, unnamed and unwanted. When that didn't work, when I was three years old, you let someone come into my room and use me for a purpose for which God never designed me. It didn't work. And you meant it for evil, but God meant it for this very purpose mm. alive, that here we have by God's grace, who would have taken this unnamed, unwanted, abused, adopted girl from the back of Australia? Today we work with government agencies around the world. We've received by God's grace, you know, the Mother Teresa, you know, humanitarian award, the uh, State Department Hero of Human Trafficking Award, the Presidential Award. I mean, I could tell you around the world. Um, who would have thought a kid left unnamed and unwanted? I could have remained a victim, but here I am in my 20s encountered the reality of a life transforming relationship yeah. with Jesus Christ. And the miracle of God is the very first scripture I heard and understood, didn't know anything. Here I am born again, was Jesus in Luke 4, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because. And that word because, I mean, we wear it. I made these bands for A21 because, but it's from Luke 4, 18, because I knew nothing. I was so broken. I still needed so much healing in my own life. But I got the because, because he has anointed me, this unnamed, abused, adopted girl, because he has anointed me to proclaim liberty to the captives, to open the prison doors, to restore sight to the blind. Mm -hmm. And it was like, there's a because to my faith. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell that to anybody. Right. Uh, the because, that's why we're even doing this program. Yeah. Everybody can do something. There's yes. a because. Everybody can do something. So to me, it's 
personal, but I wouldn't have guessed it. See, I didn't even know human trafficking existed till I was yeah. 40 years old. So I could have kept going over my past and going, why was I abused? It's not good. Uh, you know, why was I abandoned? Why was I rejected? Every one of our victims feels that. So I can sit with them in our freedom centers in Bulgaria, in Greece. We've got two here in America. We've got four offices in America. That shows you how big a problem it is in North America. We have four offices around the country. And I could sit in our freedom centers in South Africa, in Bulgaria, and I connect, I might not speak the language, but in one second, I've connected with every one of those people. And I think that's so amazing, Chris, because of all the people that could be watching today that are just stuck. Yeah. You were stuck in a time that God never designed you for. Hmm. And if you can just think of, go ahead and think about your pain and then make it, make it something that you minister out of. Come on. Take, take that pain and tell somebody, I know how you feel, yes. but let me tell you what it can be. You know, and I think, I think the encouragement to people that are stuck in that time, God wants to break that time over Amen. people. Amen. God wants to take you out of a time. God wants to set you where you're supposed to be at, at, at His time. And His yeah. time says, I have destined you for purpose. I've got hope for you. That is your time. Your time is hope. Your time is peace. Your time is joy and restoration. Yep. And, and everything that comes with the life that God died that Jesus died for you for. That is what he wants for you. And yes. to take that, that mess and make, make it your, take the, take the pain and minister from that well, pain. Well, literally. Because God it, wants to add other, but health, healthy pain. Yes. Instead of, there's a, a lot of unhealthy pain out there. People yeah. are seeping out of their woundedness. Yeah. And so, you know, I've got to be able to look when we rescue a five-year-old child in Thailand and that child has been violated. Yeah. I've got children, I can't even fathom. Yeah. I've got to be able to look that person in the eye because of what I've been, I never yeah. thought I would be able to say this, but because I know that Jesus has healed me everywhere it hurts, I can look and I go, I know we're not there yet, yeah. but I know that I know that I know that Jesus can touch you everywhere you hurt mm -hmm. and heal you and bring redemption. Now imagine, if I didn't really believe that, like yeah. we'd be, what hope ultimate, there would be just this recur recurring cycle of pain, of brokenness, of addiction. I mean, because that's what would happen with that kind of trauma, that's what would happen. But Jesus speaks to our trauma yeah. and Jesus speaks healing to brokenness. And I know it yeah. because I've lived it. I'm like, yeah. you know, maybe not to that degree. I wasn't traffic. My abuse happened in my own home. My, my immediate family was very loving, but they brought people into the house that they should have been able to trust. Yeah. And those people violated my parents' trust. So I know the fear of that. I know the, the fear that if you say something, we will kill you or we will, you know, make this public. Or I, I know the fear. I know the trauma it creates. And we're living in a world where people are forgetting to tell people that I know there's trauma and hurt, but there's hope. Yeah. Jesus brings healing. Yes. Jesus, br and that is, you know, when, G when Revelation says you'll be saved by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Yeah. I, I feel like I can look at anyone in any office, in any country. We might not speak the same language, but we've got very similar scars. Mm -hmm. And I could go, oh, Oh, I, let me talk to you about the healer of those scars. Yes. He brings healing and wholeness and redemption. And then you see people flourish in life and you go, Jesus is the only answer. Some, what if somebody's on a journey of recovery yeah. from what you had? So think about them and think about people that blindly go through life that don't know anything about this. And let's, let's pray for both of those issues as we conclude today. Sure, you want me to pray? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, and I do wanna uh, remind anybody that's hurting and you've gone through pain and abuse, I do want you to know that Jesus can and does heal us everywhere that we hurt. You can have a life beyond your past. Your history does not need to define your destiny. Jesus loves you. And we get to a place where we make what Jesus did for us bigger 
than what anybody else did to us. Mm. His blood is sufficient to bring healing and wholeness. And I'm believing, some of you are freaking out even hearing this. You're like, well, I've got children. And listen, I'm the same. I had a newborn baby. And I know for some of you, this is like triggering. You want to just hide. Um, and our victims are hidden in plain sight. We don't need to hide. I love what Matt just said. The Holy Spirit. If, mm. Now, if you are born again and spirit filled, we can be alert. Part of it, God gives us eyes to see in the spirit that you can start to have discernment and understanding. I cannot tell you the amount of times where I have gone, there's something going on here wow. or here. I could tell you that time and time again. So I know some of you, you are very spiritually attuned and the Holy Spirit will, there'll be a stirring and so, uh, you'll know that that is going to be God. Others of you are going to be so tempted to want to just hide, pull the covers over your head and try to ignore it. That's not how we're going to do it. When we bring light into the darkness, the darkness has to, and greater is he that is in us Thank you, than Lord. he that is in the world. Yes. I have no fear about that. You do not need to live in fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power and a sound mind. We have two daughters by God's grace. They've been raised and are flourishing. You do not need to fear. So I'm going to pray against a spirit of fear and I'm going to pray for healing and wholeness to come to many of you. So Father, I thank you. I thank you for every person on the other side of the screen. Lord, even now, as I, I, I pray that you would just open eyes, there would be an awakening. Father, I come against any spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ Thank that you, would Lord. cause people to uh, pull back rather than step into this. I pray for a Holy Ghost confidence, courage and strength. Lord, you said unto Joshua, you only be strong and very courageous. So I speak strength and courage over people right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that there'd even be a, a stirring up of the spiritual gift of Father, the discerning of spirits of of Lord, what Matt's case was and other situations, Lord, you and I know where we've just known something's off, something's not right, that, that people would know and they would know which hotline to call, what to do next. Father, I pray as a result of this, there's going to be a spike in the number of traffickers that are caught, of cases that are, are busted, Father, literally in Jesus' name and people that are rescued. And Father, for every man and woman and child that, Father, is just watching this right now under the sound of my voice, Lord, that has experienced abuse, abandonment, rejection, hurt. Holy Spirit, I pray that even now you would do what only you could do in this yes. moment, that you would go and you would bring healing into all of those broken places. Father, that we wouldn't be wounds that are just seeping toxicity and brokenness everywhere, but Father, there would be healing, there would be wholeness. Do what only you can do, Lord. So touch every person, I pray right now in Jesus' name, mm. in Jesus' name, mm. amen, Lord. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.